In the past, you have been open about your battle with depression. Mm -hmm. When did it start? Um, maybe as a teenager. I'm not really sure. It was probably like... Was there an incident? No, nothing specific. I think it was like, for the most part, like brain chemistry or something. I'm not really sure. Adi uh, millions of Americans have it. In right. fact, it's a very common yeah, absolutely. disease. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, have you beaten it? I think so. I think I have. In the way that when you're a dad, you just got to get up in the morning and kind of function, and no one cares when they're waiting for breakfast how you feel. And I think that, to me, that's like kind of like the best happy pill there is. You think the public understands it? No, not at all. Doesn't accept it like a kidney. No, I think there's a you know, like stigma about it, probably. Your son is named Bronx? Mm-hmm, absolutely. <laughs> Why? Were you born? He wasn't born in the Bronx? He wasn't born in the Bronx. No, uh, uh, you name him Brooklyn or Queens. <laughs> I feel like all those boroughs get a lot of love. Staten Island. <laughs> right? Well, name. yes. Staten Island, Staten Island, yeah, no, that doesn't get quite as much love. <laughs> Do you think depression is inherited? No, I don't think so, necessarily. I mean, I think that there's all these traits that you do pass on, but um, I don't think that that's necessarily something that is passed on through genes. Did prescriptions help? Mm, not for me, I don't think. I think that me, for me, it's been getting good sleep, uh, exercise, um, that kind of stuff. I think that, like, natural... For me, personally, it's been about how I've faced the world, you know, and rather than, um, and being able to talk to people and... Were you able, Mike Wallace, the late Mike Wallace, a dear friend, yeah. he went and did interviews while in total depression. Yeah. Did you tour while depressed? Yeah, definitely. You did? I mean, yeah, I mean, and I think early on, especially before we got back together, you know, you just keep moving, you know, and you just kind of keep your head above water. Um, Ever suicidal? You know, I think looking back that I was more so a cry for help. I wanted somebody to, I was, I thought about that kind of stuff, but I really wanted people to, somebody to step in and, and put my life in order. And then you realize, I think realizing, you know, in my 30s that the, most of the stuff that I had anxiety about and focused on in my 20s really was little stuff. It was silly and thinking that the world was going to end or there was something that I wanted. You know, like, I think that life is way too short to focus on all of that anxiety or to focus on the negative aspects of your someone life. Someone said at the end of this, someone said when they were very old, they said, most of my worries weren't. <laughs> yeah, totally, at all. And it's like, I wish I had been able to tell myself that 10 years ago. Watch new episodes of Larry King Now, Monday through Thursday, on demand on Hulu and Aura.tv.